This is Benjamin Ball at Super Return USA. I'm here with Raymond Spider, the managing partner of BC Partners. Raymond, last week the Economist newspaper had the headline that European leaders are sleepwalking to disaster. Is that how you see Europe at the moment? Um, I don't think it's as bad. Um, clearly Europe has a number of challenges. Um, and those challenges are being addressed not as fast as the market would necessarily like. Um, <clears throat> I do agree with the fact that you know Europe should move faster, um, but it's not always easy given the governance of the of the union and you know how long it takes to sort of modify things uh, and the national countries and stuff like that and the interplay between all of this. <clears throat> you know that being said, um, I don't think the caricature uh, that this uh, uh, this uh, sort of caption. Uh, suggested um, is, you know, accurately represents the state of Europe at the moment. Okay. What about for your portfolio companies? What, how has the economic crisis affected them? Um, actually, obviously there's a couple of exceptions, but generally speaking our portfolio companies um, have performed relatively well during the crisis. Um, you know, we try to focus on businesses with a lot of downside protection um, and um, unless we make a mistake in the quality of the company that we buy, um, which thank God doesn't happen too often. Um, you know, then those companies, um, you know, the financial crisis is the right time of testing for that. Um, and for us, um, 2009, 2010, 2011 uh, has continued to see to see to show slight growth in our portfolio, not as fast as before, obviously, mm -hmm. but slight and steady growth, um, which is, um, you know, clearly what we are hoping for and which has provided a lot of stability to, uh, to the value of funds. Okay, and what about, so you know, with, with the economic crisis and everything else, how have you find, found LPs' opinions changing towards Europe? Um, <clears throat> frankly, the LP opinions has sort of tended to vary with the general market sentiment about mm -hmm. Europe. Uh, shortly after Lehman, Everybody was incredibly worried about the, UN, the United States, actually, if you remember. <coughs> and during that time, Europe appeared to be uh, an oasis of stability. <coughs> um, when the problems of the euro started uh, to emerge, then all of a sudden the risk and the perception of risk sort of shifted to Europe. Then the perception of risk shifted back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. with the fiscal, you know, with the fiscal cliff and all the issues about budget deficits and stuff like that, and sequestration in the U.S. So, you know, right now, obviously, uh, LP perception about Europe is a bit, uh, is quite cautious. Uh, but generally speaking, our LPs, I mean, the most experienced LPs take a very long-term view. Uh, if you invest in private equity, you invest for 10 to 12 years, and clearly, over 10 to 12 years, you know, you should be bothered too much or overly at least by um, you know what's happening over the past uh, three months so I think I'd say LP are, LPs are cautious but they're generally supportive okay and what about the and while BC partners very well known for, for that your 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 expertise in Europe I've noticed your last two large investments were both in the US does this a change of direction change of um, strategy no it's not a change of strategy uh, <clears throat> we opened an office in uh, in New York um, to cover the U.S. market uh, in 2008. Um, uh, our funds, with the full support of our LPs, have a carve-out for non-European deals. Um, it is true that last year we invested about 17% of the funds into the U.S. in two deals, <coughs> which were both priced in the first half of the year, uh, when pricing were actually, you know, before pricing, generally speaking, rose in the U.S. quite dramatically. So we're certainly happy with hindsight that we put the money to work at that time. Uh, it's not a change of strategy, it's just reflected the fact that um, <clears throat> you know, we found incredibly attractive in our view opportunities um, in North America in the first half of last year at a time when Europe was actually um, um, you know, very, very low on quality deal flow. Um, and so we invested the money into the U.S. and we are certainly you know, well within the carve-out, so you know, it's fully within the strategy of the firm. Okay, and now, look, final question, looking forward, what do you see, sort of few, how do you see Europe in the next 12 months for you? Um, <clears throat> well, I think on the economic front, um, Europe will continue um, to show very, you know, like zero or very, very small growth. That's not going to be a surprise to anybody. Um, I think the most important event from a macroeconomic standpoint is going to be the uh, elections in Germany where Angela Merkel is widely expected to win. Uh, <coughs> and if that happens, which um, you know, normally should happen, 
um, is going to contribute to further reassure the market about the long-term prospects of Europe because there's going to be a strong leader in, in, in Germany uh, you know, to continue to, um, you know, to push for reforms um, and budget discipline. Um, for on the deal side, um, in private equity, um, you know, certainly in 2013 is a much better year than 2012. There's more volume, there's more high quality businesses because the environment has improved um, and uh, therefore people, uh, I mean, owners do not hesitate anymore to put companies up for sale if, you know, if they'd like to. Um, so there's more volume, more high quality, and we see more deals. So, you know, we've just signed a deal about three weeks ago in, in Europe. <coughs> we continue to see other opportunities, and we certainly hope to put more money to work uh, within the next 12 months. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Raymond. Thank you. It's a pleasure.